Okay, this is Maple Canyon in central Utah. Uh, I'm up here with my friend Tony. Say hi, Tony. Hello. And we were rock climbing and it started raining. And so we're kind of hunkered down in this little cave. We'll try to keep it from getting too wet. Um, waiting for the rain to die out. But I thought this was a pretty good vantage point to uh, do a little geology up here. Let me wipe off the lens. There we go. Um, and explain a little bit about this rock here. So you can kind of see a little closer view of this rock above me. Uh, these big cobbles, just these big rounded river rocks all glued together. Um, just an incredible scene. And you wouldn't think this stuff would be great for climbing, but it's actually really well cemented together. And so it's conducive to climbing. It holds up well, we can get bolts in it and climb protected and safely. Uh, if we look across the way, we can see sort of the entirety of this formation. This rock is all Cretaceous in age. It's about, oh, 80 to 100 million years old. And all of these rocks were shed off of big mountains to the west during a mountain building event called the Severe Orogeny, which affected uh, all the way from the Canadian Rockies down into Mexico, a big event where the Western North America was being compressed east to west. Big mountains were being pushed up by faults and folds. And as those mountains were eroded, maybe on a day like today with a lot of rain, uh, it shed off these big gravels, these big rounded river rocks uh, into big alluvial fans and then into big river systems draining to the east. So we're looking north here and you can actually see some of the crude, from this vantage point, you can see some of the crude bedding in the rock, that there's a slight dip in the rocks down to the right, which would be to the east here. Um, which could be just the, the uplift since the rocks were deposited, or it possibly might reflect the actual uh, deposition of these big cobble bars and these alluvial fans and river systems that were draining off to the east. And so I'll give you a little closer look at these. Uh, here's our anchor here. And maybe here's one of our bolts. Look at some of these cobbles in here. These are mostly quartzite cobbles. These are Quartzites are metamorphosed sandstones, sandstones that have been cemented by pressure, maybe a little bit of heat, but these are among the hardest rocks that we typically see in nature that are quite common. And so you can imagine that mountains shedding all sorts of rocks, maybe limestones and sandstones and quartzites and other rock types, all these rocks as they get tumbled down the river are banging into each other. And so only the strongest rocks kind of make it through. And so in this case, the quartzites are much harder and more resistant than the other rocks around them. And so they're the ones that sort of persist. And so as we kind of scan this conglomerate, we see that almost every particle, every class, even in the, the sort of fine grain material here, this little rock here is maybe three quarters of an inch in diameter. It's pretty much all quartzites. You just don't see a lot of other rocks in here. And then we get some of the cobbles. This one cobble here sticking out is kind of beach ball size. That's maybe almost two feet uh, in diameter. And then all of this rock has been compressed, um, cemented together. We can see that it's mostly cobbles with very little sand. So this is what we call a clast supported conglomerate, meaning that the particles or the clasts make up most of the rock itself rather than the matrix. Um, if you watched my video on Echo Canyon, this is the exact same unit essentially, the same age and the same geologic story as the conglomerate at Echo Canyon. We also find this further south into Utah around Cedar City. Um, it's in a couple other places. I'm gonna swing past you. Whew. Um, but we can get a pretty good look over here and up the route. We'll see if the rain relents enough that we can finish the second pitch. Uh, but for now, I just thought this would be a nice place to, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> to do a quick little video. Uh, here we're looking down to the east, down Maple Canyon. Uh, and again, you can see the bed sort of laying down. They're almost parallel to the slope in kind of a crude way. I think this, this unit is maybe 400 feet thick in its entirety. We're maybe 160, 170 feet up with maybe another 100 feet to go to get to the top. Uh, this is the left fork, or excuse me, the right fork of Maple Canyon. Left fork goes back this way, and then there's the middle fork that runs back this way. So short little video just taking some time in the middle of the rainstorm to look at some geology and hoping the conditions improve.